hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding the climb up parkour action so for that open up unity dot com and make sure that your character is uploaded and after that click on animation and right here let's search for sprint to wall climb and right here you will notice this animation which is by the name of sprint to wall climb click on it and as you can see it will start playing like this okay so let me get closer right here to the player okay so this is the animation which we will be needing so just simply download this animation without skin and make sure the format is fbx for unity click download then after this let's search for one other animation which is by the name of crouch to stand Okay, you will find this animation crouch to standing click on it okay and as you can see this is the animation just simply click on download and the format and skin will be the same click on download and once these two are downloaded let's rename the first one to let's just say stand okay and let's rename the second one to climb up and once you rename them let's now drag and drop it inside unity so inside the animations folder i will drag and drop them and as you can see here is the animations now let's select the stand click on its rig change it to humanoid then the avatar definition will be copy from other avatar and let's click main mesh click apply and if you go inside the animation now drag and drop the player now if we play the animation as you can see this is the animation now let's select the climb up and click on its rig change it to humanoid copy from other avatar and select main mesh click apply that is it okay let's drag and drop the player now again in there and as you can see this is the animation now we will be needing to trim this animation okay we want to trim the starting part from this animation okay for example this running okay if you scroll down right here first of all let's uh, change the root transform rotation to original and let's make this back into pose okay then right here the position y will be changed to feet and then simply click on apply and let's now select this animation again now you can notice the player is not rotating okay now let's go ahead and trim this animation from the start because as i told you we don't need this running part of this animation so from the start we will trim the first seven frames okay we just need this climbing part okay if you notice from this seven right here actually we need to move it forward from here okay if you notice from 7 the player start climbing okay and at the end we will cut the last four frames so we will make this 50 okay and if you notice now this is our climbing animation and we will be joining this climb up animation with our stand because if you notice at the end the player doesn't stand up okay so that is the reason we downloaded this stand animation so now before doing anything first of all click on apply then click on the stand animation and right here make the start as 3 and the end to 15 okay and in this way our standing animation will be faster if you notice okay click apply and then let's change the rotation to pick into pose and change this to original change the position y to feet and then click apply again and now if we select our animation again now if you notice the player is not rotating now if we click on our scripts folder let's create a parkour action for our climb up animation but before creating the parkour action let's go ahead and click on animator now since our animations are ready so first of all drag and drop the climb up animation then the stand animation okay and let's change their name to climb up and then this one to stand 
or let's just actually change this to climbing up okay I think climbing up is more a good name for this animation and change this stand to standing okay because we don't want these names and the names of the animation right here the same okay you can leave it as climb up and stand but I will change this to climbing up and standing okay then what I want you to do is to make a transition from climbing up to standing and then from standing to basic locomotion and now if you select this transition and play the animation you will notice that now this is a fully climbing up animation as you can see the player climbs up and then stands okay now let's go ahead and create a parkour action for this so if we click on scripts then go inside parkour actions right here let's create a new parkour action and let's name this as climbing up okay in here the animation name will be this climbing up so let's say climbing up and now let's set the minimum and maximum height so guys for the high jump up let's make the maximum height as 0. Point, let's just say 7 okay and then if you click on climbing right here make the minimum height 1 and the maximum height as 0. 0.2 or something like that okay so make sure that you do that then right here we want the player to look at obstacle as well we will also allow target matching and as you know that in our climbing up animation right here if you notice the player puts the both of the hands on the obstacle as you can see but if we see our parkour action right here we don't have the option for adding these two hands on our target matching but we will just simply use the right hand actually okay so this will also work perfectly fine now we need the start time and end time so if we go ahead and click on our animation again okay let's play it and now what we will do is we want to start target matching from this point where the player starts moving the hands till the point let me show you right here when the player puts the hand on the obstacle okay 0 0.28 or you can say 28 percentage from 28 to 30 you can put this value okay so now if I click on parkour action let's select this the start will be 0 0.08 and the end time will be 0 0.28 okay that is it then if we go ahead and click on our player right here now change the array size to 3 I think this is the list okay so change the list size to 3 and then simply drag and drop the climbing up parkour action right there then if we go ahead and see our crate okay this crate right here if we click on it okay let's change the scale y to 3 okay because we want to increase the size of this since we now have a climbing animation and that animation is for big obstacles okay so now let's minimize that after changing the scale size and then guys I have already played the game and test this animation out but we need to do some changes in our minimum height and maximum height to values in each of these three parkour actions okay these values might be different for you but if you want to add the correct values then just simply play your game and try changing the minimum height and maximum height values okay again and again and when some values works perfectly fine for that parkour action then leave that values as it is okay for example for my jump up parkour action the minimum height value will be 0 0.1 till 0 0.6 for the high jump up it will be from 0 0.7 to 1 and then for the climbing up it should be 2 and 5 okay so if you are using the same things as, as mine then these values will work perfectly fine for your game as well okay 
so after doing that now let's go ahead and test it out our parkour actions okay so here is our player now let's go ahead and perform the first parkour action in order to test it out and as you can see it is performing these two parkour action perfectly fine now let's go ahead and perform this one and as you can see the climbing animation is working fine as well but if you notice the player hands and body is going inside the obstacle but we don't want that so now let's go ahead and fix this quickly so if you select any parkour action actually if we open up this new parkour action script okay so let's go ahead and open up this new parkour action and right here we have the compare position okay so let's now click on parkour controller script okay so here is our compare position right here we passed it and at this line at the end if you check we have this vector 3 okay and this vector 3 is set to 0 1 and 0 and the reason we type it as 0 1 and 0 for the x it was 0 for the y it was 1 and for the z it was 0 as well so the y was 1 that is because when we were playing these two parkour action we were making the player move up a little bit and land on this surface perfectly fine okay and for the second parkour action we were doing the same because our player feet were getting stuck inside the obstacle but now we have this third parkour action and in this one we will be moving the player in the upward direction but also we will be moving the player a bit outside this obstacle okay so we now need to make the z value 1 as well but we can't make the 0 1 like this okay because in the upcoming videos we will be having more parkour action and we can't hard code this like this okay because for some of the parkour action it should be 0 so let's go ahead and click on new parkour action now right here after this compare and time let's create a serialize field and this will be of type vector 3 let's name this as compare make sure it is in small letters so compare position weight and this will be equals to new vector 3 and now let's go ahead for the x pass 0 for the y pass 1 and for the c pass 0 as well then if you scroll down let's create a reference for it so after the compare and time right here we will say public vector 3 let's name this as compare position weight but make sure right here this c is capital and then at the end this will be equals to compare position weight then click on parkour controller script and now right here we will remove this and we will type action dot compare position weight okay make sure that you call this capital c okay compare position weight that is it so save the script get back to unity and now you will notice we have this compare position weight right there okay and for these three animation the y will be one because it will be the same for them now for the climbing up make the c as one okay then if we go ahead and play the game now let's go ahead and test out our climbing parkour action let's perform it now uh, if you notice the player body is not going inside the obstacle as you can see okay it is now playing perfectly fine okay if we try it again right here as you can see the player is performing the parkour action perfectly fine okay now let's try to perform the other one as you can see this one is perfectly fine if we select this one it is as well so now all of the parkour actions are playing perfectly fine okay and guys if the player body of your player is still going inside 
in these obstacles okay or you can say in these other two parkour action the jump up and high jump up then you can also go ahead and select them and change the z value to one like this okay and then test it out again and then it will be all perfectly fine so now whoops now if we go ahead and test it out again right here as you can see it is playing this animation perfectly fine if you notice it okay and now let's test this out okay so now all of the three parkour actions are working perfectly fine okay and i will leave the values as it is okay and with this done let's end this video right here